Hi, my name is Sheila Willis of Impact Tourism, the developer of the History Check mobile app. Welcome to History Bites, your daily dose of Alberta historical trivia. Brought to you in partnership with Belt Drive Betty Media and the Canadian Motorcycle Tourism Association. You can register to answer the questions for a shot to win prizes, or just take the quiz to satisfy your own brain power. Either way, we're excited to see how much of Alberta's history you really know. And yesterday's question was, in 1913, at Moose Portage, a Mrs. Ashley was badly burned from. Is it A, hot water, B, a house fire, or C, a campfire? And the answer is C, a campfire. This is a story I ran across while researching the history of my local area. There are only two newspaper articles dated October 30th and November 4th, 1913, but what a story they tell. If there was ever a woman who was tough, resilient, and had an amazing attitude, it would have been the wife of William Ashley. She, her husband, and two children were moving from North Edmonton to Lesser Slave Lake where they planned to settle down. They had made a camp at Moose Portage, which was a stopping place along the Peace River Trail between Athabasca and Mirror Landing, which is now Smith. As they were sitting around the campfire, a sudden gust of wind came up and showered her with sparks. This ignited both her hair and her dress. In the ensuing panic, she managed to put out the fire in her hair with her sweater, but then went into full-scale panic mode, seeing her clothing in flames. Her husband wrapped a blanket around her and that caught fire too. When they finally got the fire out, all of her clothing had been burned from her body. While I can't even imagine the pain she must have gone through, it was followed by a two-mile ride in a wagon over a rough trail to go to a Mrs. Gearhart's for help and whatever medical attention she could provide. Mrs. Ashley was taken to Edmonton, presumably also by wagon, and three weeks after that, the accident, was interviewed by a reporter for the Edmonton Capitol. And I'm going to quote, To be so badly burned that for some time her life was despaired of, to undergo the most harrowing of experiences for three weeks, and practically live during that time without proper medical attention, and then, when interviewed while laying in the hospital, to almost cheerfully say that it might have been worse, takes considerable pluck and grit. Well, that reporter nailed it. Mrs. Ashley sounds like an amazing woman I would have liked to know, but so far I haven't found out any more information about her or what happened after. And tomorrow's question is, in April 1885, the price of a sack of flour rose how much in four days in Calgary? Is it A, $1, B, $2, or C, $5. Come back tomorrow for the answer and the story that goes along with it. Then we'll load you up with the next day's question. Enjoy!